guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be talking about how to create an ebay business account as you guys can see you have to first type ebay business account and i will provide the links in the description so first we click on sign up that ebay.com and then you click on business account instead of personal account so personal account is for like buying stuff uh, but for business account we're going to choose business account and we're going to put our business name so put your llc name or um if you are just found this place where you can like easily uh, start your eBay. So eBay actually explains it for you. So uh, eBay is a worldwide community of more than 131 million shoppers. There's transparent fees. Uh, there are fees based on the product that you are using. Let's say you're using Air Jordans or the special products. There's like different fees for each of them. And you got to create an eBay account. And then after you create an eBay account, you got to select selling. And after you click on selling, it's going to choose you got to choose whether you're going to do for personal or business accounts. I mean, for this video, we're going to be talking about business accounts, so make sure to you do that. And then you click on it. You sign up using your Google, Facebook, or Apple account. After that, you got to provide your information about how um, you're going to be contacted. Like, let's say there's a problem with the customer service. you got to make sure that you get a product. Like, you have to make sure that you have a, um, a viable resource of communication to your customers or else you will lose your way of communication which is sad um, and then you click on that and you will be automatically redirected to my ebay and then you're gonna uh, register as the ebay seller and after you get your ebay or selling over where you're gonna click on list an item so to list an item you must know how to list it you gotta put in the title you gotta put a picture you gotta put every detail of your thing to make sure that you are actually doing it right so you gotta be careful guys um, or else you will be in trouble you know, let's say you do it in the wrong niche you won't be able to sell your product because the what is it called um, um can you so yeah you can like list your um items um right now after you get your um after you get your what is it called the ebay selling overview also you can enter a name, you can set up your selling account, and you can get started. This is really easy. This is just basic stuff. You need to have a social security, like a way of getting the payments, also your tax information, so you gotta be careful. Um, enter your telephone number and verify it by providing a one-time security code. Um, so you gotta have that phone number with the security code. Here. So you can't escape it, guys. You gotta have the security code. After you, you can change your accounts and you need to verify your account details. Um, you got to put your routing number for your um, bank account and also um, your name, your address, your everything or else you will be in trouble. So you got to make sure that your account is individual if you're selling for yourself. If you're selling for a company, let's say you're working for a company, you got to make sure that you are doing it for the company name or else you're going to get your taxes. They're going to get their taxes from you. So you got to be careful about that. So that was basically um, an overview of how you do it. Now let's get back to the real video and make sure to get the living in a different country. You can put INC like those type of. So I'm just going to make something up. I'm just going to say Hamza LLC. This is just a made up name, guys. So don't try to use it. And I'll put a business email. So make sure to put a business email that's realistic because when you are dealing with like disputes, like transaction failures, you're going to get the emails from these people. And I want to make sure that I have a strong email. Um, So this the business email was taken so let's try this one is it taken no it's not taken and uh let's put our password um so let's try this password and i only want to buy on ebay i don't want to sell so if you want to do that you can do that also so you can like create a seller's account or also a buyer account so and then you click on create an account and then you gotta wait until it loads the information and then we got to make sure that we put our um, confirmation code. So I'm just going to be uh, putting it very fast. So give me a minute. And then after you create it, it's going to ask you for a username. So I'm just going to uh, skip this, but let's do it for fun. Let's put this name and then we're going to click on uh, continue. So the username must be like not taken by anybody else. So you got to be careful about that too. Um, so no, I manage my business for sole proprietorship. So if you have a legal entity, you can click on that. But I am by myself, so I'm just gonna click on that. And then um, it's gonna ask for my seller's account, and it's gonna ask me for my bank account. And then um, after you do that, you can like review and confirm your information. 
Um, so yeah, that's basically um, it for this video. So that's how you create it. So I want to talk about other things also. So when you create a seller's account, you got to make sure that you put your real name, first name, last name, and also you're going to put your residential address. And then you have to put your um, SSN, like the last four digits to make sure that the tax information is going in. And for the bank account, you got to like click the routing number and uh, different parts of that eBay account. And then you can review and confirm. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. So the eBay seller accounts. So after you um, join there, you can click on Home Seller Center, and then um, you can like um, log in. You can click on Sell on the right side, and then you can start listing your items. Um, so these are the items that can be um, like, I mean, you gotta like sign up. So mine is not signed up, but you can click on Sell, and you can click on My eBay and find the recently viewed um, purchase history and more. Um, so that's how you do it. Um, you can also um, like check your eBay business. You can get the academy. Uh, you can do the selling, like how to sell seller fees. There's like protections like returns, seller help and more. So you can click on growth and more. And then you can click on seller fees. And then understanding the seller fees is you can also do that. So you can promote your listings. So there's like insertion fees. So there's 35 cents uh, fee for each listing. And also um, you can see that um, there's a 8% um, sale tax or a fee uh, based on what you're selling. If you're selling sneakers over 150, there's an 8% on total amount sale. Guitar and more 6.35%. You gotta choose a category based on that. Um, and so there's like huge fees for selling. So you got to make sure that when you're selling items, you put the correct um, selling, um, like the correct category, or you will be charged extra for your money. You can also click on sell now and you can start selling. Um, tell us what you're selling. So let's say that I want to sell a phone. Click on Apple. Continue to list. And then it's going to ask us, for the iPhone 14 Pro, select the career, carrier, you can click on capacity, color, and condition, and you can continue to list, and it will tell you a trending price, uh, which will be helpful for you. You can click on continue to list, and then you can get paid easily by creating your account. So that was basically it for this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that's how you create an eBay seller's account. And see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching.